Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to my show. Uh, today we're doing Ducky Plays, where I play about 15 minutes to half an hour of a game and uh, give it a review of one to five duckies. We usually do older games for older computers like DOS, Commodore 64, or uh, the Amiga, things like that. But we might throw in a little surprise every now and then. And yeah, we're doing Jill of the Jungle today and gonna see how it plays out and give it a ranking. Let's uh, see how she goes. Let's give her. Let's play. Press F1 for help. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Always keep an eye on your health. I don't have a joystick at the moment. Okay. So we can do turtle mode? I don't think we're gonna need turtle mode. I don't know. I could be terrible at this game. Jump's a little interesting so far, but we'll see how that is when you get along. Jill bounced through the boulders. Like there's a bite taken out of them. I'm gonna guess that they're just shaped like a bite taken out of them. How did Jill carve her name there? That's something I'm gonna wonder about for a while. And one. Jumping around, jumping around. Doing this sort of thing. Yeah. It's a really weird weapon. I don't know if I'm going to get used to that. I might. Oh, and... I can't duck and shoot, at least I don't think I can. I wonder if I lost my knife by throwing it away and going through the door. Yet another computer game hero has fallen victim to an immense, unstoppable force known as Epic. The young superhero B. Blaze yet yesterday announced his retirement at age 13. I just can't compete with those cool Epic heroes, said Blaze. But now that I'm retired, I have more time to play with my slide rule. Jill declined to comment. Do they still make slide rules? I wonder if anyone actually has a slide rule out there anymore. Other than like someone who went to school back in like 60s and 70s maybe? Before calculators were a thing? I don't know. Ooh, scary. Are they gonna get me? Okay, they disappeared. Did I get the hive? Yes, I got the hive. So, let's double check here. 
Okay, no, I can't shoot and squat. Oh no! Ah! So many things I can't hurt. Or hurt. Oh man! There's a lot of damage there. Lava? I can't hurt that guy? Unless... Oh, it just falls down. Nope, that's not gonna work. Superhero quits job. Today, world-renowned Mario resigned from his position at, as superhero at age 72. This is the latest event in an unprecedented chain of events caused by Jill's incredible popularity. We just don't stand a chance against her, so we are giving up, said Mario. We are not cool enough. Mario plans to return to his previous job cleaning gorilla cages at the local zoo. Uh, I think Mario might still be around and Jill might not be, I hate to say it. But, I could be wrong. Jill enters the hut. More enemies, I can't find. Oh, that jump is... really kind of tricky. Oh, man. That's, that bothers me. That really bothers me. I don't know why. I just like... Freaks me out a little. Oh! Careful, Jill. These Pac-Man ghosts are... Freaky dicky. Yeah! I wish keys in real life went, yeah! When you find your keys, it goes, yeah! I don't know. I'll stop. What is with that? Like, she runs into something and she, like, absorbs into it, kind of? Oh. Ooh. 
Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, shit. How, how the hell am I supposed to... How... Everything has a boulder. Everything has a boulder. What is this? Is that a safe point? I can't remember. That looks... What? If I can get the other one, or what is this? Oh, there's a seven there. Oh, that is a lot bigger than the. Knife? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a power up in a game that's quite like that. I don't really know how to feel about it yet. <laughs> Music's uh, kind of interesting. I don't know how to feel about it. It's Good, but it's kind of trippy and weird. Oh, okay, so that's a bad idea. Running water kills Jills. Okay, I can go to this running water, but not the other stuff. Hmm. This is tricky dicky. This is really tricky dicky. Okay, so we can't go up here. Get that apple there. Okay. Okay, that's kind of useless. No. 
nothing makes sense. And okay, there we go. I had a feeling that was coming along. Oh, floor enemies. Wait. Yeah, that's a lot better. Oh. Wait, didn't I just come from there? Die when I touch that rock. Horizontal water kills me for some reason. Let's see if... Is there something down here? No. Something missing. Oh! Oh, that is terrible. Huh. Okay, there's got to be something I'm missing. Okay, that kills me for sure. Oh. Okay, save my game. Save. So I can go in this direction. And the eyeball tower looks weird out of the end, I do. Go up. Oh, shit! What is going on up there? Whoa! the jungle map. Okay. This is a really hard game to rate. This is a really hard one because it's a lot of fun. I can see myself playing this one further. Um, but it has a good many flaws. And my shoes are untied. That's a good uh, sign that it's mocking me as I'm trying to rate it. Um, you know what? 
despite all of its flaws, the weird crappy weapons, the weird jumping mechanics which feel really stiff, it feels like you can't really move while you're in the air easily. The weird music and sound effects, I gotta say, I'm gonna give this one a 4 out of 5. It's a generous 4 out of 5, but anything less would be, yeah, a little too harsh. I think it's a good game. You should check it out. Uh, right now it's free on good old games. It might not be by the time you're watching this, but as of this recording, it's free, so you may as well give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, thanks, and you all have a wonderful day, evening, or whatever it is you guys are having. Bye now.